All right. <clears throat> All right. Well, we the question has come up, how do I rotate something in Piscal if I'm doing uh, pixel art? And the answer is, if you're not looking for a 90 degree rotation, I really couldn't find anything. So how to rotate something less than 90 degrees in Pixel. And what we're going to do as a solution is just use another free web app called Pixlr and just import it and export it. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we did was this was the project that we wanted to do an, an extra rotation on. And specifically, it was the frame right here that's up and down. We wanted to create like a 45 degree angle and 135 degree angle of this rotation. It's just not available. So um, all I've done so far was I went to here and made a clone. And I went into this one. And when I went into this one, I just deleted every other frame except for the one that I wanted to make rotations of. So now that I've got this one by itself, all I have to do is I have to export it. So I'm going to export it, make sure the scale is all the way down because we want it to be scaled the same size. And I just hit it and hit download. So after it downloaded, it went, went in here as what's called race rec clone. So now I opened up another particular file. So I went over here and I typed in pixlr.com and pixlr.com will let me insert an image into that. And so that's the image we're going to in insert. So we hit launch web app. I'm sorry, I got to get through this st stupid stuff, allow, reload. All right, and I'm gonna open an image from my computer. So again, I'm gonna enter that race rec clone, okay? And so here's the file as it were. So now really all I have to do the steps are, and I'm gonna get rid of this, this is just my magnifier. Okay, all we really have to do the steps are, we have to do what's called an edit free transform. We're gonna go edit free transform, we're gonna hover off the corner here, and I'm just gonna pull it down to what I think might be about a 45 degree, just some sort of intermediate turn. Okay, obviously I could do several if I wanted to, but for right now, I'm just going to live with about a 45 degree. And then I'm just going to go over here to file. It's going to say, do I want to apply the same? Just yes. I'm going to go over here to file and I'm going to say save. And I'm going to save it as race rec or just race 45 for right now. And I'm going to leave it as a PNG and I'm just going to say, okay. So it's going to save it in my downloads as race 45. And so I'm going to go back to my edit and I'm going to go back to free transform. And again, I'm going to hover over the corner, and this time I'm going to turn it over. I'm not going to do much else to it. I'm going to turn it over to that 135, give or take. So the thing has now rolled over past, you know, the the 90 degree line, and it's now 130. And I'm just going to save it again. So click somewhere and say yes. I go to file, go to save, and again, we're going to change this one, and we're going to change the name to race 135. Say okay, save. And it'll save it in my downloads again. And now I'm pretty much done with Pixlr. So I'm just going to exit out of this. And I'm going to get back into my race rec clone. So actually, I'm going to put it right in the original. All right. So I'm going to get rid of this particular one. And and which one do I have the whole thing? Boy, I had a bunch of race rec clones up there. Let's go, just go to my gallery. Cancel. Let's go to my gallery. And the actual one I have is called race rec. And you'll see if I hover, it doesn't have the intermediate steps in it. It just goes straight to 90. So now I'm going to edit this one. Okay, so here's what's important. I go down to the place. Um, it's going to insert whatever I want. It's going to insert it after the thing that I do here. So I think the 45 one, I should go here to where this right before the where I want to put it in is. So I'm going to go to the frame before where I want to put it in. So it's going to be the new number seven. And I'm just going to say import. And I'm going to say browse images. And now I'm just going to type in in my downloads here, and we're going to find out that we got that one called Race 45 somewhere in here. There it is, Race 45, and I'm just going to open it. It's going to ask a bunch of questions, but I'm pretty sure that all I'm going to do is hit Next, hit Combine, and hit Import. And right now you can see that in mine it's come in as a new number 7, and it's created a new layer. So I'm going to go down to the original layer, and you can see that in the original layer, right before where I want it, this is actually a blank copy, which is fine. So now I'm just going to merge the layer. So I'm going to go up to this layer, and I'm going to tell it to merge down. So as you'll notice, it just puts this right in where I need it. So now as the car going, you'll see that one intermediate step right there. Boom. And so now if we want to put in the other one, again, not too difficult. We just have to go down to, again, Go right before you want to put it. So whichever the clone before, the, this is the frame before. I want this new one to come in as a new number nine. And this guy down here with flames is going to be a new number 10. So again, I just click on it. I hit import. And this time I hit browse images. I'm going to look for the race rec 135, which we've got in here somewhere. Race clone 135. Okay. I'm going to open it up. And I'm just going to hit next. And I'm going to hit combine. 
and I'm going to hit import and it's going to put it in a new number nine. Notice my old layer, the new number nine is, is blank. So I just go back up and I hit merge layers, merge down. And as you can see now, it has put in the 45 and this other 90 here. So boom, boom, boom. I get the actual rollover going here. And all I got to do from here is just remember how to save. Boom, save, save my gallery. And I've now put in the other two rotations. So not really actually too painful. Um, so there's how to do some other rotations using a, another web app called Pixlr.